Hey everyone, Dave, back with Alex. Alex, where are we from? Corso. Systems. <laughs> you can do that again if you want. No, no, okay. I'd stay in it. We normally say Dave from Corso. I do, I, I, I messed him up. I would claim full responsibility, but Bill, I'm drinking my coffee, Alex is still out of coffee. So He's gone we're... soft in old age. It's all the gray hair. <laughs> So, we're continuing our Ignition series called... Ignition Explained. And today we're going to talk about SQL Bridge. So, we've already talked about the Vision Module. Most people who have the Vision Module have the SQL Bridge Module. And Alex, I have a very important question for you. Okay. What is SQL? Structured Query Language. Oh, that's a good answer. I didn't prep him for this at all. It's a... Oh, we should add that to our acronyms, our hard series. Should. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Check out the blog <laughs> post. Alex may be wrong about this. We'll have it right on the blog post, though. We, we will. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, though. So, SQL. SQL or... is the language that you use to interact and query data out of databases. Okay. And... There's different versions like SQL Server and MySQL, which describe the underlying technology. Mm -hmm. But the overall language is called Transact SQL. So T SQL, if you look at the actual language specification. And that will be your like select star from table name, whatever. He's really smart. Uh, so that's how you get data out of a database or into a database and interact with data that's in tables somewhere. Uh, there's also no SQL, but that's a whole other can of worms that we don't need to worry about for this discussion. And if you pronounce it SQL, it's okay. Yes. But it is SQL like the SQL to a movie is generally how it's said. Mm -hmm. There are products out there that spell it out that way in their name, which just disturbs me. Alex is disturbed by many things. Uh, so the SQL bridge module allows ignition to communicate with databases. Okay. Uh, Ignition has an internal database that it will use if you do not have the SQL Bridge module for alarming and historical tag collection. Okay. Uh, but the SQL Bridge module allows you to query data out of a database or write data into a database, mm -hmm. including using Ignition's transa transaction groups, which will allow you to write structured data to the database in terms of a whole row of data at a time based on a tag chain script or an event script or whatnot. Generally, what we use SQL for in the SQL Bridge module is writing uh, production data to the database. So mm -hmm. we started a batch at a particular time. Uh, we created a batch. The batch has these particular parameters. Uh, there were we use it for like tracking alarm conditions and things. You could also use it for sequencing your process and loading data from a database to track where you are in your process. Um, and then you can also use Ignition to query data from a database and write that data into a PLC. Okay. Or you could presumably with the SQL Bridge module kind of replicate historian type functionality where you read data from the PLC and store it in the database. Uh, that would be useful for things like fault codes, okay. uh, diagnostic health, that sort of thing. Uh, and then you could also track user interactions with the system and Anything you would want to write or read from a database, you can use with the SQL Bridge module. Uh, the Ignition uh, module page describes it as you could use it for also for recipe management okay. if you weren't using Cephasos recipe module. Mm -hmm. uh, they talk about the sequencing that, and a few other things on there that you could do with the SQL Bridge module, but it's a very powerful tool that we find most of our customers utilizing. Okay. So you almost definitely have the vision module yes. as your basic. And then would you say the majority of people are going to want the SQL Bridge module in order to have the system functionality? Yes. Unless you're strictly doing process control of equipment. Without any writing of that to an additional database. Right. Unless you're doing like real, if you're doing anything other than real-time process control, mm -hmm. you're going to want the SQL bridge. Right. Okay. And generally it would be more things that you don't care about more than historical tag data. Yeah. That you want 
the SQL query. So like if, if all you care is the pump speed and level in a tank, then you could use the built-in historical or the tag historian capabilities. Mm -hmm. But if you want to track what batch was in the tank during that period of time, that's okay. when you want SQL Bridge. Uh, but to do the tag historian, you have to use the tag historian module, yep. which is another video. Yep. And then you would use Vision to view all the data yes. in the system. Um, and SQL Bridge will also give you access into ERP systems. So if you have a Microsoft Dynamics or an SAP system, mm -hmm or a Sage, SageX, yeah. anything else that's on the market. Uh, or if you wanted to tie into your CRM system mm -hmm. or a LIM system or anything else, yes. uh, it will give you access to any of the databases. And it follows the Ignition Unlimited Client mm -hmm. model. So once you have the, the SQL Bridge module, mm -hmm. you're not limited by how many databases you can connect to okay. licensing-wise. Okay. And so I know we talked about some other cool, interesting functions that it can do. Now, the SQL bridge is what we would use to base off being able to like go in and track user interactions and user changes in the system, right? Because that transactional data would be pushed to some sort of database, and then we could query it out of the database? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and there's also the audit log tools yep. uh, that write to the database, and then you can query the database from there and build like an audit log monitoring system okay. in your clients. Everyone loves audit logs because at some point everyone wants to know who changed this thing right before a potential issue, and no one wants to admit it was them. But you can go back in and check to see who it actually was. Yes, and customers will literally call and say, I think somebody did this at this time. Yep. And you check, and it's like, yes, that happened on this computer at this time, and here's who did it. Yes. Uh, Anything yeah. else? No, I think SQL Bridge is typically the the next module people get. Yeah. If they were to start out with just a vision client, yeah. that would be the next the next step forward for most companies. If you come to Corso and we're putting together a package for you, it will start with vision and SQL bridge because they're literally at the top and two of the most functional things yep. that you can purchase. Cool. So Dave and Alex from Corso saying thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe below, and tell us what you guys want to see next. Cheers. I haven't, full disclosure, done an audit log test without SQL Bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, so as we go through these videos, I'm going to come up with a list of things to check out. So we may have a follow-up video yeah. at the very end of, of how can we break ignition based on things that we have not tried before. Shane and Don and Travis and Kevin and all of our friends at Inductive Automation will not appreciate the strange blooper outtakes that we have at the end of these videos no. and potentially the strange, extremely edge case uses that no one should ever do in real life that may come from these. Yeah, audit log is, is great. I don't know how I haven't tried how that works without SQL Bridge. Yeah, because we normally do all of that in SQL Bridge because we normally have an ERP or a CRM or a bunch of other databases that we integrate using SQL Bridge, and it's just part of our process.